I did, yeah. The stiff one, right before it looked like Clay. Yeah, I switched hands. Yeah, I had him in my right hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Justin Jefferson himself. <laughs> so why don't you describe that play just from start to finish? Uh, nothing but God, for real. I just saw the ball in the air. I just said, I got gloves on. Let me make something happen. Like, today was the first time I played with gloves in, like, a while. So I was just like, I don't know. Let's let's try it out. And then it just so happened. Got the ball in my hands. I just said, let's let's take off. So I just took off, and all I saw was the end zone. I didn't see anything else but the end zone. I see the quarterback coming out of nowhere. Stiff arm, cool. And I just kept going after that. Thank you to AC, though. AC made that big hit. That's how I got a touchdown. It's because of AC. That's what you do with AC. What kind of miles per hour do you think you hit on that one? I was probably running slow. My legs kind of hurting today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I was. Maybe 13? I don't know. I'm we'll just, have to I'm check just, it. Yeah, we'll check it later. Yeah. Did you do anything like that in high school? I did. I played quarterback in high school, and I ran track with my mom. So I've actually been running track since I was five years old. So I've always been able to run at least. I've just put on a lot of weight, so it may mm -hmm. look a little bit slower now. But I've, I've always been in the running. I ran with a couple of different teams, Roadrunners, Tri-City Relays, PAC, all growing up. So I've been in the track all my life. Why the gloves tonight, you say? Uh... Honestly, that's a good question. I, I was just thinking, because usually I do the tip around my fingers, and I was like, some just told me to put gloves on. Because I wore gloves in practice this week, and they were working out for me. And I was like, today, let me just put some gloves on. I put the DB gloves on. I said, these kind of feel nice. And I just <laughs> put them on, and I was like, let's do it. When yeah. was the last time you ran 84 yards for a touchdown? When I played quarterback my freshman year of high school, I ran like, I had like 60. Took off, uh, drop, drop back, and I just took it off. But did you switch hands and stiff arm anybody on that run? I just switched it up the middle. <laughs> yeah, I don't you, even remember. You, you said Amari made a hit. What, what hit was that? The, he it, made the block. The block. Yeah, the block. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He made that block. And so, I wasn't sure if that was him or not. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. <clears throat> Ten sacks tonight for the defense. Just, what does it say about the defense? Um, not just today, but maybe looking forward to it. Right? Just say growth. You know what I'm saying? Different mindset now, different part of the season. We've had a lot of adversity hit us, and I think us just being together as just a whole team. Like, I thought we played together as a team that, like, right there, just, you know what I'm saying? I, I love that right there. And just the 10 sacks, I mean, that's just showing that defense is stepping up in, in different areas, back in, linebackers, front. Like, we've all we've all got sacks around the board. DB's got a sack. Elijah Huzzy, Amari got a sack. Dez, Rupp, we all got, you know what I'm saying? So. I just think that's just a overall just a great defense right there. That's how you that's how you play great defense. We just got to hold that to a standard every game. Javari, along those lines, what is the feeling like when those sacks are just starting to come and pile up? Uh, I mean, I saw the Spider Man meme there at one point. I think if my internet knowledge is, is correct, <laughs> but like, I mean, what is the feeling like? It's almost like a snowball. I feel yeah. like, and they just keep coming. Uh, for us, it's just more so like a sack. For us, is like everything because I mean big men making big plays like that that's what you want to see and it just hypes us up because it's like okay we getting back we getting back there that's how we know the DB's doing their job linebackers doing their job for us it's like everybody's just doing their job and that's how that happened you know what I'm saying we getting back there making the play but overall the whole defense made the play because what without the defense you know what I'm saying stopping them in the back end you probably could have threw the ball to somebody that was open they had them covered who was able to get the sack so it's just you know the right timing for us some of the other guys were in here talking about how as you know the losses kind of mount the pressure you know somewhat mounts as well I guess for yourself personally going into this week did you feel anything you know kind of added like an added sense of urgency I know you want to win every game obviously mm -hmm. but was there like an added sense of urgency with this UVA game compared to I guess games? I feel like for us we just had a different mindset coming in this week um for me I felt like we had a great week of practice even in the bye week we had a great week of practice um we just had a just switch it up, do something different, and just come in different. We brought the juice. I mean, even this morning, like, just uh, me and Travis, we had been a team up at 7 o'clock in the morning before we had to eat. Like, we doing stuff, small stuff like that. I feel like the little things done right is what's able to make us, you know what I'm saying, be at a high level in all areas. Y'all, I guess, did that. Was there, like, 
extra meeting early in the morning or just like what was it was time? it was just juice like we i mean you know what i'm saying like me the strength staff travis we brought the juice i mean they in there playing nba young boy this morning loud in the hotel about to go eat like i thought just bringing that extra juice like small stuff like that's what helped us you know what i'm saying because i mean just us being together i felt like was the best part about today was being together and so i saw that across the board offense defense special teams coaches everybody was together so max said that he thought that the last few weeks which you guys have been through kind of helped you guys get some perspective mm -hmm. and perhaps that perspective may have minimized some of the stress about having to win in football mm -hmm. would you say that you guys were more stress free coming into this and because of that you kind of were able to play looser and galvanize once good things happen? I feel like just all the adversity that's happened from, I mean, we all know all the stuff that's been going on, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and how and stuff like that. And I feel like us just, you know what I'm saying, taking that to heart, you know what I'm saying, is, is meaning more. And I think everyone's waking up every single day realizing that this means more than just, you know what I'm saying, just anything else. Like, we got to get up and keep going. You know what I'm saying? We can't just let, you know what I'm saying, small stuff hold us back. I mean, Keep swinging the motto, Ty Lee. I mean, we got to keep doing that. And so, shout out to him. Uh, along with him, uh, I feel like his motto, his legacy, has allowed us to realize that we got to just keep going, keep swinging. How powerful can that feel be wearing that shirt and mm -hmm. thinking, Ty Lee, especially now that he's no longer with you? Mm -hmm. Is there even more power behind that? Oh, definitely more power. I mean, just even when he, even when he was here, I'm saying him being an inspiration to us every single day. Us, you know what I'm saying, recognizing that he's able to keep going. I mean, we kept, we keep going with him, you know what I'm saying, we had his back. And uh, him being an inspiration to us, even an inspiration to me, like, I'm seeing that every day. I'm like, wow, like, he, he can do it, I can do it, you know what I'm saying? So now I just got a different mindset, like, anything is possible, you know what I'm saying? Tyler was able to do it, I'm able to do it. So I just got to keep that going, too. I mean, I wear this shirt with Kai, like, he, he kept going. So, yeah. All right, Javari, I'm going to get Jake.